So obviously uh, a few weeks ago we installed the solar panel kit very very happy with it the only thing that kind of like got me at the time was there's was no way to actually monitor the output of the panel or the current load on the panel or anything like that and then i watched a video from jason bradbury who got somebody to install his panel for him and they installed this victron bluetooth solar controller um, so I had to look into it, but they were quite expensive and it was kind of like a two-part module um, So I kept so, an eye out for some time on there and I noticed that they brought out a new model Which is the solar controller with a built-in Bluetooth kind of like connectivity So not only do you get all the benefits, but it's one module and it was really inexpensive as well So that's what we've done. We've installed that and I can now keep an eye via the Bluetooth and the app on my phone on our solar controllers um, performance, the panel's performance, everything that outputs and what the current load is and all that kind of stuff, how well it's charging my batteries and how well it's performing. And I think it's absolutely brilliant. So all I've done is basically the wires that go into there, um, I just disconnected them from the old one um, and I just swap them over so um, the PV is your photovoltaic panel uh, solar panel um, obviously battery is the circuit back into the battery um, and then load if you want it to you can have all your load circuit and everything on that one but I want it just to charge the batteries um, so that's all I'm going to use it for so let's install the app now that's all saying it's got set up and everything else so getting a good charge and everything um, and little battery gauge on there as well so that's reading really well what are we on there 13 and a bit volts so we've set everything up now we've got a bluetooth um, signal i can see it so we're going to go into the app which i've downloaded and we're going to go into the device list there we go we can see the controller so let's select the controller it says connecting Ooh, it's exciting. Woohoo! Um, oh, there's an update. <laughs> like everything in life, you buy it. The first thing you do is you have to update the firmware. So, okay then, let's update the firmware. Right, once a Bluetooth pairing request, um, I couldn't find this anywhere in the manual, but through hit and miss and trial and error, um, it's six zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So that's us now paired, uh, it's doing the firmware update. We're oh, nearly there, 92%. Okay, so your device has been updated, press continue to turn to the device list. So, searching for new devices, select the device, it says connecting. Uh, now there's another update that it needs to do. So we need to click on update again. <laughs> um, you know, it's just like everything in life these days, isn't it? You buy something, you update it, you update it again. I think the worst one I've ever had is GoPro. I think that's every other time. Or maybe DJI. I think every other time it needs an update. But, you know, I'm all for updates if it means, you know, a better user experience, batteries lasting longer, more efficiency, better features, more for those kind of stuff. Right, okay, next part of it's done. Click continue. Click solar controller, it says connecting. So I'm using the inverter socket, 240 socket, um, all the way up to my DJI drone charger, uh, charging four batteries and the remote control. And I'm doing this to uh, generate some load on the batteries so I can check out the load on the app on the solar controller. So I'm gonna turn everything on. Um, and on the fan, I'm gonna put it on vent. So it's gonna work just like a cooling fan. And I'm gonna turn all the lights on. And then put that on. So now everything's on. And the fan's going. So let's see what load we're generating on the solar controller. So as you can probably hear right now, 
the fans are whirring away. Um, the batteries are charging. As you can see from the weather, it's a gorgeous day. So solar panels getting full power. Uh, but somebody asked me the other day, uh, do I get the full 150 watts out of the panel? Um, so I just thought I'd let people know that um, if I could, if I could think of more things to plug in, um, then yeah, I could probably get 150 watts out of the panel. Certainly get to 84 watts, okay. So I'm really happy with it. If you've got any questions at all about the installation, about what I did, um, please do you know ask in the comments section down below. But it was it was just so straightforward. Um, as I'd already installed the full kit before, there were just four wires. It was just a case of moving those four wires across to the relevant connection point on the other controller, and that was it. Job done. It was that simple. And now, like I say, get the benefits of uh, having the nerd part. The geek part of uh, being able to see what my solar panel's doing which i think everyone that gets a solar panel fundamentally they want to know how's your solar panel doing so thanks very much for watching my video today if you like to say you've got any questions ask them down below give it a thumbs up if you found it interesting and um, if you do click on the link down below to the solar controller if you do want one uh, you will get the best price as I did from Amazon um, however it is my affiliate link so legally I have to tell you this now um, if you click on that you get a great price but Amazon pay me a tiny fraction of the purchase price on top so take care and I'll catch you on the next one bye